What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Всем привет, my name is Oven, welcome back to yet another video, so glad to see all of you. This week I decided to have some fun and to create my own folly. For those of you who don't know what folly is, it is the art of creating your own sound effects and it is primarily used in cinematography. And it is very surprising actually how easily it is to trick your mind into believing that a certain sound fits what you're seeing on screen, even if it is a very random sound. I know it sounds confusing, but more about this in this video, so stay tuned. Now the goal was very simple. Find some free stock footage, make a little 30 to 40 second video, and then focus on creating the different sounds that I can see in the video using just random stuff I can find around my house, including myself. So what I'm gonna first do is show you the main video, and I do recommend you use headphones for this for maximum experience, and and then I'm gonna show you the same video revealing what kind of items I use to create the sounds. Do write down in the comment section below what you think I used in order to create the sounds. I would be really interested to see your ideas. So let's roll the clip. There you go, short and sweet, but at the same time quite interesting, at least in my opinion. The interesting fact is that it took me way longer to find the stock footage and to create a video rather than searching for and recording all the audio. Now let me reveal how I created those sounds. Yeah, I scream like a seagull. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually the reason why the whole idea of making this episode and practicing came up. It was because one day I was mocking a seagull when it interrupted me when I was recording one of my past videos. Such a stupid idea, but it actually worked. I am very surprised it actually worked. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is so easy to trick your mind into believing that a random sound fits a video. And this is because our mind is so good at making connections. And if something mildly resembles and is logical to the mind when it comes to what it sees, then it does the connection and you believe that it is real. And that is amazing for us content creators and video editors because it creates a huge playground where we can play around creating these different sounds. And if that is not enough for you, you can take any sound, throw in a bunch of different effects and you're essentially creating an unlimited amount of different sounds. A good example of this one in my video is the sound created using a bag of rice. Now, when I was searching for something to create the sound of fire, I picked up randomly the bag of rice and the crackle that it made did associate with a fire. So then I came in, recorded it, put it in the video, lowered down the volume and it worked. I was very surprised. Now then, moving forward to the next shot, we have the beach with the different pebbles. Now what I did there was I took the same sound because it had this really nice kind of crackly sounds and then I simply added a low pass on it, cutting the high frequencies. And this created a more dull version of the sound, which sounded like rocks, to my great surprise. Now quickly for the ones who don't know anything about audio, any sound you hear has different frequencies. They range from being very low to being very high. 
and every sound is somewhere on that whole meter. Now, one of the things that you can do with a sound is to cut off the different frequencies that you can hear. So if we are creating a low pass, it means we're cutting out higher frequencies. As an example, here is the same crackling sound made by the rice bag and notice how the sound changes as I am removing more and more of the high end. Pretty cool, huh? Really opens up a lot of possibilities in terms of what you can do with the sound. Now, I didn't use a lot of effects in my own videos because I wanted to push myself to try to find as many ways to create sounds as possible. However, I did use it in a few instances, such as the rice bag, also the seagulls in different sequences. You can hear it either further or closer away. And also in the beginning where I attempt to make a female voice by just changing the pitch completely. And there we have it, very, very fun exercise. And honestly, for you guys, whenever you're editing your videos definitely try to add some kind of special effects to all your videos it really creates a new dimension to your videos it actually makes you feel or the audience feel like we are part of the story and you don't need to go and create it yourself especially if you don't have a microphone there's plenty of websites such as epidemic sound where you can find a multitude of different sound effects and most importantly try to find different sounds which are not exactly what you see that will really push the boundaries of your creativity and there you have it thank you for watching i hope you found it a little bit amusing and also informative do let me know in the comment section below your ideas of what i can do or how can i experiment with sound perhaps you can give me some kind of items that i can use in order to create some special effects or perhaps some kind of places that i can go and try to make as many sounds as possible in that location do let me know in the comment section below it would be really really fun to create those as always, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed it do drop a like, consider subscribing if you enjoyed this type of content, and as always, see you in the next one. Пока!